Hello! Welcome to crypto. So many coins, so many coins. Um, maybe you started with a little Bitcoin, then you may have bought a little Ethereum and now you're thinking about buying more crypto or you already have a lot of crypto. How do you keep track of it? That's a tricky thing. And um, I want to show how to use a very popular program called Blockfolio. Uh, it's just a simple, basically kind of simple Android or uh, or uh, Apple iOS app, and it just keeps. You can fill in your holdings for crypto and every trade you do, if you want to, and it will just show you uh, how much it's worth. Uh, and you just swipe down, refresh it, and you can see the current value of your coins in euro or in dollars or in any value you want. You can even set alerts to get notified if the price drops below a certain point or goes over a certain point. So it's very useful for uh, traders as well. But it's also just useful for people who are long-term investors but want to keep an eye out, like to, to show how, uh, well, what's the value, keep a track on it, maybe get an alert if a coin drops below a certain point or gets b above a certain point where you want to take action. Um, so I took some screenshots of my blockfolio. I don't want to share my exact value, of course, but this is the homepage for my blockfolio. Um, I hit the numbers, but you can see my holdings here. Under US dollars are some coins that are not listed yet on blockfolio, by the way, and ICNX, which is the uh, investing platform for economy, which I'm holding as well. Um, and as you can see, you can you should see your total value here, the daily change. You see the price. You can either have this in euro or in dollar or in Bitcoin if you want. You can change it in the settings. So how do you get this list? So basically, let's say you have bought a few coins. You have maybe Ethereum and Bitcoin and a few others. How do you add it? Well, uh, on this screen, you click on the little plus symbol. Uh, when you first install it, these will be empty, of course, because you didn't add any coins yet. You click on the plus symbol on top right, you get here, and you have to search for a coin. So you click on search for a coin, and you type in the name of the coin, or the, the short name. Let's say we have bought some Ethereum, so F. Right away you see a lot of different versions, right? So you have to scroll and find the correct one, because there could be a lot of coins that have a similar name. So you have to look a little bit to check it is correct and we probably bought ethereum with bitcoin so you want to add it you can also choose a different coin as the alternate coin but usually you would say ethereum bitcoin right so select that one when you do you have to select an exchange next um, you, you should select the exchange where you bought the ethereum or if you don't if you just got it from somebody or somewhere else you, sh you choose the exchange you want to take the price off so i would suggest a bigger exchange which a lot of with with a lot of uh, uh volume because that will give the most accurate realistic price so in, th in this case we probably choose bitrex which is a good exchange and where i bought my ethereum for instance um next there's a field called quant um once you select bitrex you choose to either what you did you can say i bought i sold or you just want to watch the coin uh, usually you, you would add a buy of course and if you want to add every trade you do you can in blockfolio so you could actually have it as a actual trade uh, management tool but i think there are a little bit better tools for that if you want to if you're a big trader uh, but to just keep an eye on your portfolio it's very nice so just fill in buy let's say we bought some ethereum uh, for the price of uh, 0 0.0881997, let's say that that is our price. So you fill in, let's say our price in re re reality was 0 0.0882, so you enter the price you bought it for, or the average price. You can even leave this blank, it's not critical to put in the price you bought it, It's but it's nice to see uh, your actual profits. And then you fill in how many Ethereum you bought, of course, so let's say we bought 10. And on, once you click on uh, on save on the top right, you will see it added here. And a little bit down on my portfolio, there's Ethereum, and it got added here. Uh, I'm not showing the values now. Uh, if you click on this Ethereum bar, you get to this screen, the details screen, so you can see the 
the, the graph to the current price, the, the, the trend, the change. Uh, you, if you click on the word Poloniex, you can change to other exchanges. Uh, and you can see other data for the markets, which is useful. Um, let's say you want to change what you did. Let's say you bought more Ethereum or you sold some. You just go to the tab Holdings, which is there. And here you can again add a transaction here on the bottom. And you can see what we just added. I just bought 10 Ethereum for this price and it cost me this. So th that's why you want to fill in the price because then this, this profit loss value will be correct. You can actually see your profit and losses for each trade you did. So that's Blockfolio basically. Uh, just fill in everything you have. Make sure you fill in the correct values and the correct trade prices or at least a general trade price. Choose a good exchange for each of your coins. Make sure you select a good coin, so the good pairing. And then you have a nice overview of your coins and your crypto and it's a very nice easy way to, to keep track of the value of your portfolio. So that's it, Blockfolio. I hope you enjoy it and use it. Thank you.